Hello, I'm Dr. Nidhi Gupta and I'm going to go through how to approach cardiology for the MRCP part one. So this is a bit of an extension beyond what you have done at medical school. So I'm going to go through all the different aspects of the cardiology curriculum. So the first area you should be going through is cardiovascular physiology, including hemodynamics, the cardiac cycle, um, and the impact of pathologies such as hypertension and how the kind of cardiac physiology affects these. So the next subject you should know inside and out is coronary artery disease, including the pathophysiology, the clinical presentation, um, and the management of coronary artery disease. In our MRCP part one course, we have hundreds of cardiology questions that include the entire curriculum and breadth of knowledge that you need to know for the MRCP part one. The next subject in cardiology you should understand inside and out is heart failure. Now, of course, all of these subjects um, are interlinked, they're not separate, but heart failure has a different pathophysiology and clinical features as well as management, and so you should understand this in detail. The next is valvular heart disease, specifically aortic stenosis and regurgitation and mitral stenosis and regurgitation, the pathophysiology, the investigations and the management. The other big topic within cardiology you need to understand inside and out are arrhythmias, specifically atrial fibrillation, SVT and ventricular tachycardia. It's important for you to go through and understand how these arrhythmias occur, how you investigate them and how you manage them both in the immediate and the long term. So now I'm going to go through an example of an MRCP part one question and the answer and why it's the answer. A 55-year-old male presents to the emergency department with crushing chest pain radiating to his left arm and associated shortness of breath. On examination, his blood pressure is 160 over 95 with a heart rate of 110 beats per minute and respiratory rate is 22 breaths per minute. His ECG shows ST segment elevation in leads 2, 3 and AVF. Troponin levels are elevated. Which of the following is the most appropriate initial management for this patient? A. Administer thrombolytic therapy. B. Perform urgent coronary angiography. C. Start aspirin and clopidogrel. D. Administer sublingual nitroglycerin. Or E. Obtain a bedside echocardiogram. And the answer is aspirin and clopidogrel. So the clinical findings, the ECG findings of ST segment elevation and elevated troponin levels are highly suggestive of an acute myocardial infarction with an ST segment elevation. Thrombolytic therapy is an alternative option when timely access to primary PCI is not available. Starting aspirin and clopidogrel, option C, is a crucial step in the management of acute MI. Sublingual GTN, option D, is helpful for symptomatic relief in stable angina, but is not the initial management for a patient with an acute STEMI. And obtaining a bedside echocardiogram can provide additional information about the patient's cardiac function and wall motion abnormalities, but it's not the most appropriate initial management in this acute setting. Cardiology is one of the biggest subjects within the MRCP part one, so it's not something that you can take for granted. We have hundreds of questions relating specifically to cardiology, along with detailed explanations with the answers for you to learn from that covers the entire curriculum. Good luck.